Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, more Muslims are trying to respond to what we say, but as usual, they say nothing, they do nothing. And uh, the result of this, many Muslims leave Islam. CP and his worshippers. First of all, my friend, nobody worship me. I am no one. Me, myself, I pray to God for forgiveness and uh, our Lord is the one we worship. However, you are very upset from me and I understand. And you are saying, uh, CP and whatever, Try to so-so, hard. What is a so-so? Uh, is that uh, explain how your prophet takes shower with dead dogs and women blood from period? To prove to us that he is so-so clean? Or your prophet flirting with his own son wife to prove to us that your prophet is so-so decent? Or is that your prophet seen in underwear to prove to us that he is so-so thief? Ah, watch the comment. They will say nothing. Hard to make Islam down. Islam is already down, my friend. What is Islam? Where we can find Islam? First of all, you see, Islam is a government. Islam is, as a religion is not the same as any. Islam as a government is Islam. Without Islam as a government, there is no Islam. Now, if we ask the Muslims which Islamic government is Islamic government, they will say even Saudi Arabia, even the king of Saudi Arabia, they claim even he is a Jew. They claim, you can search right now on YouTube, they claim that the royal family in Saudi Arabia, they are Jews, which means the Jews are controlling Saudi Arabia. So you don't have Islam anymore. And what Islam is, you have millions of sect and your prophet said, my nation will be 73 sect, only will be one of them. Jesus never said that. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and I will live. So sect is not part of our, our belief. You, only one sect according to your prophet. Actually, he said that Christianity will be 71, 72 sect. Judaism will be 71, 72 sect. Islam will be 73. And only one of them, of the 73, will go to heaven. What is the answer for that? None. And not only that, you need to notice that he claimed that those are the minority of the Muslims. He called them a jama'ah. This is why he said that time will come and Islam will be strange. And even the city of Medina and Mecca, nothing visit her and the, and the, and the, and the mosque there except dogs and beasts. Okay, let us continue. Uh, did not, did, but they did not notice about the continents of their Bible. Read again your Bible, page to page. Yeah, my friend, we know our Bible. Is that where, where the Bible says, love your enemy? Is that what you are saying, it's bad? You see, when we, uh, when we speak to Muslims, and they say us, read your Bible, the, the funny about them, they make fun of our Bible, and then we say, okay, let us read from the Bible, and then we say, we don't believe it. Brother Sitar, I challenge you to read your Bible. Okay, Zakar Nayak, let's read our Bible. Yeah, brother Sitar, this Bible is true. <laughs> so, this is our Bible. It says clearly that you should not be even happy when your enemy is suffering. You should not rejoice if your enemy is dying he's a human being at the end of the day uh, or get hurt we are told to feed our enemy when he is hungry can you show me the verse in the quran it says feed your enemy when he is, they are hungry you're a prophet he put nails in the eyes of his enemies just because they left islam and supposedly they killed a the shepherd as the muslim story says but that will not explain torture and cut his, their hands and cut their feet and put nails in the fire and put it in their eyes. Imagine how filthy he is. I mean, this guy, he has a mental issue. You know, even according to your book, it says that if somebody commit a murder, which is he copied from the Torah, you know, the one who committed murder, kill him, right? Okay. <laughs> kill him, not torture him. Actually, the Quran says torture. Says cut hands, cut feet, but your prophet he added something is not in the Quran, which is putting nails in the eyes of people, for he is full of hate and he have no dignity. So this is our Bible, my friend, and our Bible says you have heard that I, it was uh, 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 said, love your neighbor, and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy. So when you speak about my Bible to read it, my friend, we knew our Bible. Do you know yours? If we go in your uh, uh, yellow pages, uh, uh, the Quran, we will find the Quran says, 
قاتلوهم يعذبهم الله بأيديكم kill them not fight kill them قاتلوا here kill to fight I mean fight to kill uh, uh, so Allah he torture them by your hand actually here this says punish the fact it says يعذبهم عذاب mean torture يعذبهم الله so Allah will torture them by your hand your God Allah cannot do it he needed you to torture me so Allah can be victorious because he does not exist this is Muhammad using you the fool so you go against me and I kill you and you kill me and then supposedly Muhammad he will stay home with Aisha playing between her uh, you know <coughs> and humiliate them ah, okay and then it says and then that will heal the heart of a believing people how much hate you have inside you to the point by torturing people that will heal your heart what kind of God we are talking about and then he says in the verse after it and he will remove the anger of their heart Allah redeems so Allah will leave the anger by putting nails in the eyes of your enemy or maybe by cutting their fingertips and cutting their necks the Lord inspired the angels I am with you so support those who believe I will cast terror your God the terrorist into the heart of those who disbelieve and strike above their necks and strike off their fingertips fingertips what, what fingertips why you want to uh, cut their fingertips your God Allah was watching watching too much in Netflix horror movies hmm. this is because they oppose Allah and his messenger so if you oppose Allah and his messenger you see the mercy I am opposing Allah and messenger so the punishment for me is cutting my neck cutting my fingertips <laughs> what a filthy satanic religion and you are talking read about this or read about that uh, you know actually you remind me uh, there is a hold on I you know I take snapshot because I, not, I don't have my computer so oh when Moses he decided to uh, Allah told him to take uh, to do jihad against the Palestinian in the Quran he said to him in chapter number five verse number 21 he said to Musa tell your people oh my people enter the holy land which Allah has assigned for you and you don't turn back mm, that's your return uh, as a loser <laughs> Allah always have to have a backup plan you know so unless you are a loser huh? okay so go and die for me and what happened the Jews which you Muslims teach to a lot of hate against them said oh Musa's they are, you know, those people, they are powerful. We will not go and enter that land unless they leave it. Huh? We enter it by peace. They leave, we enter. War, no. That anger Allah. And then only two of the Jews, they were Muslims. Only two. They said to Musa, as you see, two men of those who feared but who uh, um, Allah. See, they fear Allah. The rest, they don't fear Allah. They said, okay, let us attack the gate and kill all the Palestinian Allahu Akbar only two. This is your Quran. So if you want to quote for me a story from the Old Testament, what the Quran saying, even the Jews didn't want to kill the Palestinian. It was your God who promised them the Holy Land. And now you Muslim, you cry, you say, oh, this is the land of the Palestinian because you are a hypocrite. When the Quran, while the Quran says, this is the Holy Land which assigned to Musa and his people. It's in front of you. If you continue reading the verses after, you will see that uh, uh, because they did not go and fight with Musa, Allah will make them lose their direction so will not enter the Holy Land for 40 years. So Allah, he punished them for that. So when you talk about, read your book and read our book, we do, my friend. Oh, I don't want to forget, my friend, that we did read your book and we find a lot of madness. Uh, let us see uh, more comment here you know because we have more comment I took a snapshot for them <clears throat> a Muslim he's caught for us uh, oh sorry a Muslima here her name is Dar Daria you won't answer but when we answer you you accuse us of lying how that work you know Daria you never answer me anything I always see your text 
I say to your Quran says beat your wife he says to me the Quran is the best book of Allah this is your interpretation <laughs> it's there there in front of the Quran it says beat your wife we say Muhammad have sex with the children you say this is a, a this is a, the Prophet is the best of mankind what is the answer you you specifically you never give us an answer so you know your Prophet he said women in Islam they have half a brain I don't believe in that but you look like you're trying to support your Prophet in this scenario you are giving me half answer which means no answer all right so now we continue uh, more comment let us see what the comment the next comment Adnan Ashir saying Allah is a W T says in the Holy Quran 932 they want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouth but Allah refuses except to perfect his light although the disbeliever dislike it my friend let us talk about the light of Allah first of all Allah he described his light as a light was it's a, it's a, it's coming from inside a niche and the niche inside a candle and the candle is light up by an olive oil and it's funny you know how Allah he explained to us how his light work by such a confusing stupid statement that he is oil burning now as long as you are talking about the light of Allah I want to show you some of the light of Allah focus with me please this is the chapter of An-Nur you see the funny it is this is the chapter of the light I mean I choose for you a chapter speaking about the light of Allah there is no blame on the blind nor any blame on the lame nor any blame on the sick nor in yourself for eating in your homes <laughs> let me take some coffee hold on hold on that's that that is that is that this is need coffee hmm. my friend because of the light of allah now we were able to find out where we can eat we can eat in our houses especially if you are a person who is blind that's amazing brother or if you are a person who is uh, 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 lame, you know, you cannot walk uh, properly. Or you are a person who is sick. Or even if you are none of those, you can eat in your home. I mean, do you see the light of Allah? I mean, how a human being was able to live without the light of Allah for centuries and thousands of years? We were waiting desperately for the answer of Allah to come. That finally we can eat in our houses, brother. I mean, at that time, people used to eat where? In Starbucks? Restaurants? Mecca is a small, tiny village. And people, they are like, you know, if you go to Saudi Arabia, you see that the house where those, you know, people used to live there, it's not, it's not, cannot, cannot even be considered as a house. So what he's talking about, this is the light of Allah. And then he says to you, hmm, uh, you can eat in your home. This We got this one or in your father homes finally and now i knew i can eat in my father house my friend this is the light of allah it's light it's light i was wondering where i will eat where i will eat where i will eat the neighbor no you know they were, I, where i'm going to go there is no restaurant at that time so allah now guided me i can eat in my home and my father home and then he continued or your mother homes oh boy <laughs> my mother home is different from my mom home why <laughs> and then look like they are in love but they are separated so or your mother homes or your brother homes wow that is really genius that genius or in your sister homes or in the home of your paternal uncle i mean are you going to count for me the whole tribe or in the home uh, of your uh, 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 what maternal uncle or home of your maternal uh, aunts or those whom you uh, or those who give you the keys so if you give the key to your neighbor, he can eat your food to take care of the plant you have inside the house <laughs> or the real estate you want to sell your house. Ma mashallah, mashallah. Genius, the light of Allah, you know. So here we see that the light of Allah, we cannot deny it. And no, nobody can really ignore the light of Allah. Uh, let us see uh, more of the light of Allah. Hold on. You know, excuse me for... Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm using a snapshot. 
the light of Allah that you Muslims we have article none of you answer me about that the Muslim make an article about the benefit of a drinking the blessed urine of our holy prophet I mean look without the light of Allah how we will know that the urine of a man his name is Muhammad is blessed and holy no way because at that time there is no laboratory but by the help of the x-ray of the light of Allah which nobody can dist distinguish my friend here we notice that the benefit of the blessed urine, the blessed urine, you Muslims, you Muslims, you pagan, even the urine of your prophet you worship, because when you say the blessed urine, it means he is divine, he is blessed, he is God. So it's not only he is holy for you, the holy prophet and his blessed urine. And you say to the Christians that Christians worship a man. And here you will see how Muhammad, he give us his jewel that a woman, she drank his urine. And he told her, because you drank my urine, no hell will hurt you. Ah. So the way to be survive or to be saved in Islam is the urine of your prophet. Brother, that's so wise. And you see here that this is authentic hadith. So you Muslim cannot say, oh, it's not authentic, brother. It is a lie. Oh, glory. Ah, the nation who drink the piss of a prophet. Never happened. Even the people of Buddha don't do that. And here you see the story, how Muhammad, he said to her that, uh, you know, uh, no hell will, will, will touch your, uh, your stomach, sister. You know? And you are talking worshipper of Christian prince. Why? The people, they drink my urine. <laughs> they don't even know me. <laughs> All right. So Muslims, when they make comment, you know, they, they show us that they have a lot of ignorance. I think there's a comment I missed beside this guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, tell us about the light of Allah, please. Like the sun set in murky water. I mean, this is the light of science. Or, or, or beat your wife. Or... Uh, the women have a sperm coming from her ribs. Uh, or don't forget, uh, uh, you know, all the stupid things in the Quran, like uh, uh, divorcing little children, you know. Uh, let us see. Did I miss any comment? I think, I think we answered them. Maybe this one. Yeah, we answer all of them. So, guys, thank you very much for uh, listening. I hope that the sound was good this time uh, because... Uh, some of you complain, I apologize, I'm using my phone, I don't have my computer with me, I am in a kind of a business trip, and uh, I hope soon we will be able to go back and we will have our normal computer, so we can go live and share the truth with you. However, this phone is doing a great job, even though it's not a high quality sound, but what we can do, uh, I will try uh, to, to make it better. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you all. Take care. And don't forget to get some light from the light of Allah, which nobody can extinguish. Absolutely. This is why you Muslims, you don't allow Christians to build the churches in your Islamic countries, because nobody can extinguish the light of Allah, right? Huh? Is that why? If nobody can extinguish the light of Allah, then why you are forbidding us from building churches in your Islamic countries like Saudi Arabia? Nobody can extinguish the light of Allah. What are you worried about? Nobody, nobody. Huh? Nobody, my brother. Uh, I forgot. I cannot, I cannot call you my brother. This is against Islam, brother. Huh? Hmm. So if you really, if you believe in this verse, allow the Christian to go and preach and teach in your countries because at the end of the day, as you said, Nobody can extinguish the light of Allah, which explained to us that we can eat in our father's house. Explain to us that we can beat our wife. This is lighting, supposedly, right? This is, what, this is how you build a nice family, by beating your wife. Amazing. Or having four wives, and having 60 children in the street, and nobody can feed them. Right? Like what we see in Bangladesh. Tens of millions cannot even take the train. Why? Because everybody is following the light of Allah. And if not the oil in Saudi Arabia, you will not even have electricity 
in your houses, which is created not by Allah, but by the kuffar. Thank you very much. Share the video, download, and God bless you all. Take care.